Welcome to another App Manager 8 video. My name is Michi Schniebel. I'm Product Manager for App Manager. Now I'm talking about the new charting in Control Center. So when you're in a server view and you select a server down here at the section where you have all your tabs, there's a new tab called Charts. If you select that one, it will show you all the data streams from your selected server. Um, so we know that can be a busy list. That's why I'm using the neat feature of the grid search that I explained in a different video. And I'm looking for the uh, CPU utilization. So here it is. As soon as I select it, um, there's another area popping up which shows you the actual chart. If that's too small for you, uh, let me make my screen a little bit bigger by hiding the navigation tree. And I can also use these arrows to make the area full size. So now we have my chart here. Um, and I can turn on the latch end by just clicking here. Um, but I can also see by hovering with the mouse over the data stream, over the chart, uh, what that is about and also what the actual value is. Um, by double clicking into an area, I get the details, I get the actual list of data points here and I see that's my spike I have. And 96, you see this is also the maximum value of the entire data stream we have here. So that gives me great information. I can go further and see the data point details. In this case, there's nothing to show here, but you know what I'm talking about. I can also export that list by hitting that button and easily export that to Excel or any other format. And there's another video about the export functionality. So uh, back here, I can also zoom in by just selecting an area. Um, and I can go further, and, and there we are. And I can go back or back to all of the data I have. So let's start and select more servers here, because one server is nice, but I want to compare that to my other servers. So I'm holding the Shift key and selecting this server down here, which selects me all four servers. And you see I have new data streams here. And I can just click on them, and they show up immediately in the chart. But again, that's a little bit uh, messy. Uh, so I, I don't see a lot here. What can I do? I can change the type. Or I can change uh, so the view type or the chart type. I can go to line, but still doesn't work well. I also have bar and you know some other things. So we stay with the area for now. Um, I can also change the type and make it tapped. And that helps a lot. Now I have a tab down here for each of my servers, each of the data streams I selected. But that doesn't help me really to compare the charts. So there's another one called Stacked, which opens a chart for each of the data streams and it stacks it, um, which is a neat feature, but also takes a lot of space here because I have uh, the timeline as timelines could be different. Um, so in my case, this is all the same job uh, running across service. They are all on the same timeline. I use the time align feature. And that is a great feature. It will give me a chart that is aligned to the same timeline down here on the x-axis. And therefore, we don't draw it for each chart. But the y-axis could be different per chart. So even if you have data that doesn't uh, fit you know that where where one is in the millions and the other one is in the in the tens um, then you can have this feature showing and comparing the data without messing up your your chart and you can still use uh, the zoom in that view so that's all great um, and I can also export that chart fairly easy by right clicking go to export all charts and here it is. And again, we have some features here I explain in a different video. So um, the last thing I want to show here is the time filter. Um, by default, we're showing all the data that is in the data table. And normally, this is the last eight days. Um, but you can uh, limit that for sure and select you know, a specific time range uh, right here, if you like. So that is the new charting in Control Center, uh, and I hope it helps you to troubleshoot problems.